Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Joseph Explosive with The Explosive Videos. And I wanted to do a very quick and short video that's going to talk about what raster graphics actually are. So raster graphics are more commonly called bitmap images. Okay, so a bitmap image uses a grid of individual pixels where each pixel can be a different color. This is my Explosive Videos image right here. From a distance, it looks like a smooth and clean image, but as I zoom in, you can see that it's made of a bunch of small little squares or dots of color. This is a raster image. Most computer images are stored in raster graphic formats or compressed variations including a GIF, JPEG, and a PNG, which are all popular on the World Wide Web. Okay, so I bet a lot of that just sounded like a bunch of hubble 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 hubble, but why is this important? It's important because raster graphics are resolution dependent, meaning they can't be scaled up in size, they can't be blown up because they'll look all pixelated and funky. Raster-based image editors such as Photoshop are wonderful for rendering full, rich, colorful images, like in photographs and for precise editing and total freedom in image appearance. Now the drawbacks are that the images tend to be more file heavy, which can slow your computer down when editing. And they also don't resize well unless you're making the image smaller. Alright everybody, that's raster graphics in a nutshell. Hopefully you learned something. If you didn't, go back and watch this video again. Also, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this Photoshop for Beginners series. Now, I don't care if you're intermediate or you truly are a beginner, you can definitely learn something from these videos. Also, check me out on www.explosivevideos.com where I have additional content to help you guys out with this course. Thank you for watching. This is Joseph Explosive and I'm signing out. Peace. I love y'all. Have a good one.